Hi, my name is Judy. Today we will go over tax line mapping and year-end checklists in QuickBook. Our objective today is to assist you in closing the QuickBooks year, preparing your year-end taxes, and printing year-end reports. Your company may be a sole proprietorship, a partnership, a corporation, or an S-corporation. Each of these organization types have different tax forms with different lines for mapping purposes. For example, the rent expects would be mapped to Schedule C, Line 20 for a sole proprietorship, a Form 1065, Line 13 for a U.S. return for a partnership income, or Form 1120, Line 16 for a U.S. Corporation income tax return, or 1120S line 11 for a U.S. tax return for an S corporation. So, for this organization, which is listed as an S corp, the tax line mapping would be Form 1120S line 11. From the chart of accounts, Simply edit the account you want to map. Use the drop down in the tax line mapping field and select rent from the drop-down. And save and close. As another example, we will map design income to gross receipts. The QuickBooks year-end checklist can be accessed from the Help menu by selecting Year-end Guide. The first item is Reconcile All Bank and Credit Card Accounts. If any of your statements have it statement ending date in the middle of the month, be sure that you wait for the statements that will arrive in January before you close your books. Verify your petty cash entries for the tax year. Collect all the cash payments that you've got stuffed in drawers and boxes and make sure they get entered into your petty cash account. Make year-end accrual adjustments and corrections. Close your books. This will prevent unauthorized users from changing prior year information. Adjust retained earnings. An example of adjusted earnings is a previous year distribution or you may use due to shareholder or owner drawer. Review details of all new equipment purchased during the prior year. Make all asset depreciation entries and adjustments. You can see your accountant or use the managed fixed assets if you have prior, premier or above. Review fringe benefits that need to be reported on Form W-2. This would be health insurance or flexible spending accounts. Take a physical inventory and reconcile with book inventory. Print your financial reports. 
print income tax reports to verify tax tracking. This can be found in the reports menu, accountant and taxes from the drop down, and then at the bottom you've got income tax preparation, income tax summary, and income tax detail. Import your tax related data to TurboTax or Pro Series if that's what you're using. Print and mail forms W-2 for your employees, W-3, 1099, 940, 941 for the IRS, and 1096 to your subcontractors. Archive and back up your data. And then if you care to, you can order your supplies and tax forms from Intuit. The tasks you need to use, do for your subcontractors would be ensure that the 1099 information is correct and then print and mail the 1099s. If you use assisted payroll service, the service will be taken care of by Intuit on your behalf. If you use QuickBooks payroll or have no payroll service, you should confirm current payroll tax tables clear year to date payroll amounts, QuickBooks will do this for you pay your payroll liabilities, this would be your 940 and your 941 review W-2 forms and then print and distribute the W-2s Print Form W-3 for the IRS and Process Form 940 and 941 also for the IRS. And then verify W-4 information. Thank you for watching this webcast. We hope it has provided you with useful information to help you with using QuickBooks.